Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. Last time, we finished up the Ghostly Galaxy, so this time, we're starting up with the hidden star of the Buoy Base Galaxy. We need to return to the Floating Fortress. So like before, we need to dive underwater to start things out. Um, this time, we're actually not going to raise the tower. Instead, we actually still need to swim over to this Torpedo Ted launcher, um, but we need to lure the, um, the enemy over to this cage uh, with this warp pipe. Luckily that warp pipe kind of draws you in, so you don't you don't have to like precisely line up actually entering it. Uh, but now we're on the underside of the buoy base galaxy, and we have to lure all these bullet bills over uh, to break another cage. So we have another power star, but it's actually green this time. You got a hidden star, the secret of Buoy Base, Buoy Base Galaxy. Galaxy complete. High score updated. Increase your star bit count. You rescued a, a green power star. These stars have a special power. Ask the green Lumas about them. After all, they will transform into green power stars someday. Alright, let's make our way over to this green Luma and see what it has to tell us about the star we just found. Thank you for helping me. I am a guardian of the Trial Galaxies. To restore the doorway, we will need the power of two others like me. So basically, we need to find two more green stars. Um, it'll actually be a bit until we can even access the green stars. Uh, so in the meantime, we need to make our way back over to the kitchen because there's still one more thing left to do there. So let's climb on up and see what awaits us. All that's left here is the enemy hideout. Bowser's Airship Armada. Our mission is sinking the airships. This is a very interesting uh, stage. Instead of a series of planets, we basically have a ton of airships we have to uh, hop between. Uh, so let's make our way over to this cannon. So we're supposed to launch over to this pole star or to the pole directly, uh, but I recently learned you can actually fire over here. Um, there's a very, very tiny planet with a ton of Goombas on it. Um, this is actually very difficult um, without taking damage, I've discovered. Um, but yeah, basically in the process of researching for this playthrough, uh, I did not mean to use the Sling Star, uh, but if you actually defeat all of those Goombas, uh, you will get a 1-up. So overall it's not overly helpful anyway, but it's kind of a cool little secret that I wasn't aware of until researching for this playthrough. Um, sad. 
if you're actually going to the next airship um, directly, you can basically either aim for the pole or for the pole star. Um, over here we have a bunch of Wigglers and Captain Toad. Luigi, you finally made it! I was starting to worry. You're finally here. Oh man. We also have a Shop Luma. I think I'll actually opt out of buying anything uh, because I don't think I'm going to have too much trouble uh, with losing health. I may have trouble with other things. Over here we have a Mandabug, which actually feels slightly out of place, and we have this lever. So that causes this little platform to move forwards. Um, this is actually really scary. If a cannonball hits you to the left or right, uh, you will very easily fall off uh, the platform. So uh, yeah, be careful. If you get knocked back, uh, you'll probably hit the lip of this uh, moving platform, uh, so that will keep you from sliding off. But yeah, getting hit to the sides is very scary, so I'm actually glad we got through that unscathed. <laughs> you just don't give up. Fine then. I guess I'll just whoop you myself. You want this grand star so bad? You're gonna have to take it from me. Alright, so we're fighting Bowser Jr. directly. He'll start out by firing cannonballs at us, but we can retaliate with some shells. So, uh, we dealt one hit, so now the cannonballs are bullet bills, making this a little bit tougher. And now, along with bullet bills, uh, there's a Magic Koopa uh, making our lives a little bit more difficult. Uh, there are coins around the arena, by the way, so uh, there's one and two there. Uh, up here, there's actually a 1-up mushroom that you can use a, a bullet bill to access, along with a couple of extra coins. And of course, defeating the enemies, like Magic Koopas, uh, will give you items as well. I think they give you star bits if you spin, but you can stomp on them for coins. Uh, let's test this out. So yeah, there are ways to gain health back, thankfully. And of course, it's not that simple. The ship is now facing us, meaning it's firing directly towards us, and it also has a smaller hitbox, uh, making this a little bit tougher, but overall not too bad. And like before, we now have bullet bills and a Magic Koopa uh, to contend with. I'm sad that Quain fell straight off of the ship, uh, because otherwise I need to like back up and get that coin uh, by the entrance. I'm trying to be a little bit careful as we try to uh, deal a little bit more damage. And with that, we've freed another Grand Star. You got a star! Sinking the airships, Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada. Galaxy complete. High score updated. Increase your star bit count. You've discovered a new galaxy. Thanks to you and your friends, all of the domes on the lower level are working again. Once the engine room on the upper level has power, the whole observatory will be working. Then the common observatory will fly as a starship once again. <laughs> and you will be able to fly to your special one in the center of the universe. We unlocked a lot of galaxies in the final dome of the lower level, uh, which is the bedroom. So let's make our way over there and see what's next. 
Enemy base spotted. We're detecting massive energy spikes. What are they doing there? So yeah, we've collected so many stars in the previous domes that we have access to everything here except the Hungry Luma. Uh, but let's start at the beginning. Next up is the Gusty Garden Galaxy. Our first star here is Bunnies in the Wind. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that this is one of the most iconic areas in all of Super Mario Galaxy. Partly because of the music, also partly it's just a pretty good level, um, but I think the music is what really sells it. Um, this song is actually extremely iconic and has actually appeared in multiple games since this, uh, because this is kind of like one of the standout songs in an already pretty amazing soundtrack. With Floaty Fluff, you can shake the controller or press Y to fly higher, but only up to three times, boyoing. If you want to get down during the ride, just press B, boyoing. So we have a new mechanic, Floaty Fluff. Uh, we can basically use these to kind of ride the wind, and we can also spin uh, to basically gain a little bit of, of a boost uh, vertically up to three times, and we can also jump to get down. Um, I find the floaty fluff to be extraordinarily unreliable, to be honest. Um, and the game definitely expects you to, um, kind of get a mastery of this mechanic very quickly, which we'll see in a bit. Uh, for now we have a warp pipe. So now we're inside this, like, spherical plant with a coin. This gives us a ton of star bits, we're already at an extra life here. Alright, so we also have these uh, moles throwing wrenches at us. Again, you can defeat them by ground pounding near them and then spinning when they're like popped out of the ground. Um, so yeah, the timing of the actual spin can be a little bit tricky if there's... The game will actually tell us this later, uh, but there are specific timings that you will want to keep a, an eye out for um, to gain like the best possible height, and that is basically the key to using Floaty Fluff. Other than that, it's just kind of like, sometimes I just will completely whiff uh, just because I will spin too early, uh, or spin too late. So yeah, I've definitely botched, uh, botched stages here before just because of mistiming this. Um, so let's hope for the best, because this could go really poorly, hypothetically. Um, over here we have a 1-up across these two vines. Uh, we basically need both vines to get the 1-up, safely at least. If you get lost, try going to the other side of the planet. I'm assuming that's to tell you to look for the other sprout, which we actually found already. Uh, but yeah, basically keep an eye out on the wind trails. Uh, also be careful with uh, star bits, because if you move the controller too quickly uh, to collect star bits, you might accidentally register as a shake. Um, and that will cause you to use a boost too early, potentially. Uh, so yeah, be very careful when actually, like, moving the controller side to side, collecting star bits, uh, and not moving it too, um, too much and accidentally shaking. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually done that in this game, but I feel like I've definitely done that in other games, where I've, like, tried to use the pointer and then I did the wrong action because of just shaking. Um, Alright, so we have this little vine here, uh, taking us to this planet. We, we have little sprouts to give us coins if we need health, uh, but we have a another prana plant. And that gives us a launch star. There's actually another route uh, from one of these platforms over here, and you can defeat that prana plant as well, uh, but we actually took a more direct route. And we have a giant cube with another bunny. 
Think you can catch me, boyoing? Alright, so we have to basically traverse this giant cube trying to catch up to the bunny. It's not too difficult, actually. Okay, okay, you got me. Here, take this, boyoing. Don't expect to catch me so easily next time. Basically, because I saw I was going to jump up this, I kind of jumped up in such a way that uh, I was able to cut it off very easily. Uh, but we have another star. You got a star! Bunnies in the wind, gusty garden galaxy. High score updated. Increase your star bit count. So let's keep going through the gusty garden galaxy. Next up is the dirty tricks of Major Burrows. So, like before, we start out on a little planet with a bunch of uh, floaty fluff. Uh, oh, that just gives us a bunch of Goombas to fight. Uh, not my favorite thing in the world. Uh, we also have these things we can break. Um, again, I'm trying to collect star bits to avoid having to like uh, farm as much as I can. Uh, we're actually doing pretty well for star bits at the moment in terms of like the Comet Observatory Hungry Lumas, but uh, that can change very quickly. Um, Alright, so let's ride the wind, uh, carefully timing spins to collect these coins. Um, and another coin has appeared over there, so let's stop here for now. Those moles are digging up our garden! It's just terrible! But you'll get hurt if you touch the moles. Try pounding the ground near them, boyoing! With floaty fluff, you can ride the wind, boyoing! Just shake the controller and press Y when it rumbles to really fly! So basically, when you're riding the wind, uh, wait until it rumbles, and then shake, or press Y in this version. Um, it's a little finicky, and it can definitely throw me off at times, uh, so yeah. Um, I think we'll barely make it? Yeah, we barely made it to the planet, even like timing it pretty well, that was a little bit close. So yeah, to defeat the moles digging around, you just ground pound near them, and then spin into them. So we can use that sling star to make our way up to here, where we have even more moles to defeat. Uh, this actually feels a little bit disorienting, if I'm going to be honest. Um, like, the sort of like, um, the shape of this planet and going around it just feels slightly disorienting. Um, you'll, you'll have to be like right next to the moles, by the way. You can be like somewhat like far away and still have it register. Um, it can take a little bit of time to get used to like how far away you can be, uh, but it's, it's not too bad. So that gives us another launch star over here. And we can actually end our flight early. Uh, to land on this metal structure um, using the pole stars. So if you uh, pull yourself to this planet, uh, we basically just have a bunch of optional collectibles. We have coins, we have uh, star bits, we have extra lives. Um, it's a really great way to get star bits pretty easily. Um, it's also very disorienting, so I'm not entirely enjoying going around this like structure. <laughs> um, but again, it's a very good source of rewards. Uh, I think that's all the big coins, but the question is, how do we get over to um, the launch star easily? I guess using the pull stars uh, is actually very convenient.
back on the main path, we now have these giant apples with Wiggler, or, or a Wiggler, and this little stump. And there was a worm inside of it, so that just drove it from this apple to the next apple, creating a bridge. Uh, honestly, this is a really clever concept for a level. Um, so now we have to we have two choices. Never mind, we actually have three choices. Um, this one gives us enemies. Let's see what this one gives us. Probably something better than enemies. Yeah, star bits. Um, so let's use the worm to continue making our way up to the next apple and of course we have even more choices so let's just go through and see what they all have this has star bits um one of them is to the next path this one has enemies not my favorite thing more enemies and a low battery warning uh so i'll make sure to charge my controller after this recording more star bits, and I guess that means this has to be the right one. Alright, so now we have a clear path to our next launch star. We have even more stumps. This one gives us a life up mushroom, which is very nice. I like how I ran into it, but I collected it after touching the spike, so it actually did fill my health. And we also have star bits. Um, being careful, because I would rather not take a ton of damage after just getting a life up mushroom. Uh, but we have our next launch star. Ah, I'm gonna get eaten! So we need to help out this bunny by defeating this very large mole. Uh, this fight is actually very similar to the other mole fights. There's a ground pound and then spin. So this is Major Burrows, by the way. Uh, basically, when he pops out of the ground, that's when you ground pound. So right now. And now he's really angry at us, so we need to ground pound twice. Uh, the first time he'll land back in the ground, and then he'll charge at us, so, so we have to very quickly ground pound after. Um, I took damage, but luckily we do have the life up mushroom, but I do need to be more careful in the future. So yeah, he'll charge at us. Thanks, you saved me, boyoing boyoing. So we have rescued the bunny and gotten our next star. You got a star, the dirty tricks of Major Burrows, Gusty Garden Galaxy. High score updated. You increased your star bit count. I think we have time for one more star, so let's return to the Gusty Garden Galaxy. Next up is Gusty Garden's Gravity Scramble. We're actually not going to go after the main star. There is a hidden star in this particular mission uh, that will actually not take very long, hopefully. Um, but it takes some very precise floaty fluff usage. Uh, we basically have to collect a series of coins along this wind path. Um, and I've already messed it up. Um, so that is unfortunate.
Let's try that again. This is what I meant earlier by having uh, somewhat mixed results with the uh, floaty fluff from time to time. Uh, sometimes I can get this star extremely easily, other times it's like really difficult for me and I don't know why. I think I spun too early last time but uh, this is a much better run so far. Um, that's the hard part out of the way thankfully. Uh, now all of the coins we need to collect are actually just along the paths of vines which is way better. Uh, but collecting all of these coins um, will actually make a, uh, a sp something special appear next to the, uh, the launch star, a rainbow star. So now we can use this rainbow star to break all these for star bits, and also a gold chomp for uh, something else. So yeah, the only way to break that gold chomp is with the rainbow star, uh, but we do get a star for our efforts. You got a hidden star, the Golden Chomp, Gusty Garden Galaxy. High score updated. You increase your star bit count. So I definitely was not overly surprised that took two tries, but I'm actually happy it only took two tries. Uh, but next time we actually have to get the main star in that mission, and we'll probably move on to one of these galaxies. So thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Super Mario Galaxy.